Well, 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 well. So, we need to get those aliens coming back. And then we do some back to the future stuff. Pretty much. So for now, however, it is actually daytime. And I believe I can do that during daytime. So we're gonna skip today. And we're just gonna sleep for the next 12 hours or probably even longer. That's nice as well, isn't it? Giving Chibi a little rest here. Oh yeah, he's totally passed out. You slept pretty long, didn't you? Great work out there, I agree, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, I just did that. Thank you for that um, information, Tally. We're not saving... Alrighty, so we need to trigger those aliens again. Because only they can help us out regarding Giga Robo right now. And regarding pretty much everyone else that is left story wise, or at least quite a couple of them. Let's take care of these here because we also still need some happy points for rank 3. That twig here, there we go. This game is adorable. I can't help it. To always come back every few years and... Give it another playthrough. Let's get these three here. Beautiful. So, Captain Blackbeard is... On the mission up there with our free eggs, but we still need to find... One of the treasures. And here they come again. Ah, woof woof! I don't know why I read it that way. I, I actually realized it was Tao. After already reading it. Okay, Tao is in the guy with us. Everybody saddened by death. Disappointed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I yeah. Titan, you little bang, everyone is sick, sick, sick. Gunny Meaty not well either. Oh no. Help me! This is terrible, Chibi Rover. We need to take Ganymede back to the UFO. Oh, come on, stop it, Tao. So, they are a bit overheated. So, first of all, instead of getting the nectar, we... need to find us some water. For our... Tao, would you please, like, move your furry booty? Uh, water, 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 water over here. So we're gonna take us some water. Into our scooter and... Oh no, I'm gonna ignore these guys. What does Tao have to say, by the way, when we are... Putting on our costume. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, is it cool with you if I go ahead and chew on this guy? No, Tao. No, you can't do that. Rats, I could really use a new chew toy. Gunny Meaty just gave you five happy points. <laughs> I, I, I'm safe, but still sick. What's he going on about now? Uh, I... Tao is a... Uh, special. Can I pick him up? 
Hurry up, save us, bad air, hot shivers, death. You wanna come with me on board and then we go- Yeah, okay, we're going together. And I'm still wearing the towel costume. Yeah, that's maybe not a good idea. They might be scared of me. So, we're now on board of the UFO. Everyone is chilling here and being sick. Earth, bad air, processed food, too much soda, sickness, sickness. I mean, they're not wrong at all. I would be terrified if I would see someone in a dog costume coming in. Friends, dead, disappointed, everyone is sick, so everyone is dealing with... Being sick by the food on Earth, being sick by all the processed shit, the soda, the, the, the food, everything processed. The bad air we breathe, and we're all um, also suffering from depression. Sounds, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Thank you for helping, Ganymede. I still, after all these hours, after all these playthroughs, I still can't figure out how those happy points are adjusted. Like, why does he give me 26, the other one 13, then I get 33, then, you know, it's very random. Which is something I absolutely love about the game, because it is extremely random. Good work, falling down now. Burning up, ow! Must go to sleep on bed. Yes. Weak, sick, hot, dizzy, no energy for blaster. Want to sleep on bed. Comfy bed. Must open bed. Okay, um, how about... I'm first starting to... Do that to them. Is that doing something? Weak, disoriented, must lay here, must lay here, no energy for blaster. Okay, I think... Can it open bad? I think I first need to open... The beds, which are these weird... Things that the little guy is already in. There we go, that's one. Well, it looks a bit too small for him. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You. And now the last one. And Titan is happy too. Now they're just still very hard. All bats deployed. All bats deployed. This vessel will now enter drive mode. Color code authorization required. So do I now need to cool them down or...? I think I never really fully 
understood that puzzle. No, I mustn't. No, not green either. So red, green doesn't work. So let me try if that uh, works now. Yes, it does. Cooling down, thank you. Yeah, I think I never understood that puzzle. Or uh, I just need to take another look at that. So let's first cool these guys down. And last but not least, the little one. His name is Little Bang. Okay. Uh, maybe... Ah, damn it. That one was a bit too late. Okay. Okay, that worked. Wonderful. Do not match the colors. Ah, uh, okay, no, I think I actually get it. There we go. I mean, no, that's that's a pretty straightforward puzzle, actually. And then we're gonna do it that way. Ooh, oh, 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 no, okay. There we go, that's green. I kind of thought it turned off again for a second. Yeah, I have formed the dry sphere and now we're gonna get you guys back home. I don't want you guys to die on me. Color code authorization accepted. Color code authorization accepted. Drive mode engaged. Temporal shifters activated. Warp vessel ready for boarding. And who is on board with everyone? Us, of course. You mustn't know, no. It's kind of funny how concerned they are. Dangerous, disastrous. You mustn't, no. Uh, am I opening it that way with the blaster? Or... Yeah, okay. A powered shot for the blaster and we're gonna hop into here. No, you mustn't, no. They're really concerned about that. I've never seen anything like this. Can I go with you? Oh yeah, sure, Tally. I mean, I'm just squeeze in then. I'll just squeeze in then, don't worry, I will fit. So what is happening now? Everything is in black and white. And you might... Notice where we are. It is the parents' bedroom. It looks like 
We have stopped. Let's get out, Chibi Robo. Yeah, sure thing, Telly. Oh no, who is it? It's Papa and Mama fighting and Papa I'm wrestling with Giga Robo. Ow, 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 ow. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Go, Giga Robo, go. Give up, huh? Never. You can't use Giga Robo, that's cheating. Are we in the past? That's impossible. Ch -ch Chibi Robo, how could this be? But everything's sepia, so we must be in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's how everything looked in the 80s. That's... That's how it was. Those aliens created something extraordinary. Impossible, shocking. Well, since we're here, we might as well do a little exploring. So... We traveled... Back in time. And here... We see all the parts that are located here in that suitcase that is stored underneath the bed, as we know, in our time. And here we have a baby towel. It's a, it's a puppy towel who is hungry. And he's also blocking the code. Which means we need to get him a bone back into the past. Here we have Dinah, forgotten on the floor. Huh? What's this? Who are you? Huh? You remind me of someone. Let me think. Hmm. Not him. Not Tao. Obviously. Wait a second. Giga. G Giga Robo? No, it couldn't be. Of course, could it be? Lies, lies, lies. I don't believe it. Giga Robo has a son. But he's... When did he have the time? <laughs> hey, look, look, look. Ow, 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 ow. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Pay attention. Forget about the match, you need to see this. Gosh. I hope our future child is cuter. Still, everybody loves their own, right? It was nice to meet you, baby Robo. I don't know what your tangled story is or how you got here on those tiny legs. But it was nice of you to stop by. I'm sure your mother is worried, so you'd better go home now. Please visit again when we have our own baby. Oh, please be nice to Tao. He's grumpy right now because he wants a dog bone. Well, one bone per day is all we can afford. He will have to be patient though, especially when the baby gets here. Oh, she's already pregnant, okay. But Tao's a growing puppy, so he needs his food. Well, I'm sorry if I'm keeping you. Feel free to go now if you need to. Come back again to see us sometime. Yeah, sure thing. So, Mama's actually really nice to me. What about Papa? No, I want to spend my money on toy. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. That sounds like something we already heard way too many times by that guy. Okay. I 
need to check something out here in the past though. So we have now traveled back in time. We have helped our alien friends. We brought them back basically. And now we know where Giga Robo's leg is stored. Here we have Phil. And now let me think, what do I have with me? The legendary flower seed. Yes, we do have the legendary flower seed with us. And the nectar flower seed. So the legendary flower seed. You might remember Sunshine being pretty grumpy and, you know, losing his shit. Losing his mind. And Sunshine told us something about a legendary plan or like he needs nectar that has been nectaring, riping, whatever you might call that for a decade, for years and years. So it is now on us to make sure that that legendary flower is blooming or gets planted in the past and and then hopefully blooms in the future. So this should have more or less hid, I believe. And yeah, with planting our flower here, we are sooner or later able to finish Sunshine's storyline. So Phil is here, obviously Phil and Dinah are... right now... not activated. As far as I'm aware, this is also the only room that we are able to visit in the past. You're not able to leave the bedroom. Ah, but there is something in here. Yeah, right, the plants. I need to take a closer look at them. Yeah, as you see... We're not able to get on here anymore and then leave through those that space over there. But we however do have something that is shining in here. So good schematic. And then let me take a look at Oh wait, that was when the Exalted One stands. That is when Giga Robo is standing again. We need his leg for that. That is the last treasure. So yeah, things are slowly coming together. The only thing that we need now is actually a dog bone. For the coat. Huh? Are you going home, Chibi? Yes, we are going back home. We need to come back with a bone for Tao. tag dangerous you not heard must not use again we traveled through time that was amazing aliens can do neat stuff so the question is we have already used two of the dog bones and as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware there are only three of them in the game and I don't know Honestly, if they respawn? I really don't know. So let me recheck all the possible areas. We could find the bone. We found one buried here. So, but right now there's nothing. So two dog bones can be buried outside, one is in the kitchen, and I believe the one in the kitchen is also the one we did find. And already gave to Tao. I could have like remembered that, that we need to 
save those up for traveling back in time because I do remember that I struggled with that on my last playthrough because I simply couldn't find a dang dog bone anymore because I already used it on that dog you know on the puppy I I, I felt like Tao deserved it I should have waited though let me have a look into the kitchen again We're gonna see if something might have changed there. Maybe the bone did spawn there again. Where I first found it. No. It would tell me. Nothing around here, sadly. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this room. Alrighty, then, I would say. So, we traveled back in time. We should have triggered a couple of other events, though, as well. Um, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for the dog bone. If I'm not able to find one, I will have to look up the code. And uh, we have to do it the modern way, not that we don't have the internet way. Uh, alrighty, yeah, let's end the day. It was quite eventful. We um, saved the aliens from sickness, sort of. Traveled back in time. Met the young Sandersons before Jenny was born. We met a young Tao. A uh, young and hungry Tao. Uh, 44 more points. Uh, 45 more points is what we need. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. But hey, we, um, we are, we're making good progress. We are pretty much... This is endgame part now. This is a pretty much endgame part. And um, I think... I had the game running a bit in between... I would say in total the game is around, even if you sort of know what you're doing, you probably get at least 10 hours of fun. And I think that's a pretty respectable playtime for, I would even say more, 10 to 15. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's even more, absolutely, because I was messing around with this game a lot and had no clue in so many situations what I had to do exactly and I was spending days over days over days just picking up trash and cleaning and then eventually very randomly ran into scenarios um yeah let's see if we can find a dog bone let's see if we can have another Look into Phil, or into the, no, not into Phil, into Sunshine, actually. Sunshine needs some special nectar. Yeah, we are making good progress here. <laughs>